Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week seven assignment of the course cloud computing. So friends, I hope all of almost all of these solutions are hundred percent correct. So if there are any one or two mismatches with your answer, so please uh, give your answer in the comment section. So we'll try to sort it out and come to a conclusion. So if I get any solution change i will update in the in, uh, comment section so before the final submission once again check the comment section for the new update so now let's see the first question so watch the full video guys without skipping if you skip the video you may miss some changes and please like the video then only our videos will appear in suggestions for remaining students also so please uh, watch the full video and subscribe our channel and share that with your friends and classmates too so first question Dash ensures the ability to exchange or obtain the information to be consumed. So for first question, the correct answer is option C, service level interoperability. So mark second option, I mean third option. That is option C. Now let's move on to the second question. So second one. Fog computing enablers are what? So for second question, there are two answers. The first one is option A, virtualization. And the other one is third option, option C, service oriented architecture. So mark these two as correct answers for second question. That is option A and option C. Now let's move on to the third question. So third one, consider the following statements. So the first statement, in geospatial cloud, it is needed to integrate data from heterogeneous backend data services. And the other one, statement two, data services can be inside or outside <coughs> of the cloud environment in geospatial cloud. So for third question, Option C, both these statements are correct. Both statements are correct. So mark option C. Now let's move on to the fourth question. Fourth one. Which of the following statements is false about port offloading using Cloudlet? So for fourth question, there are two statements. The first one is the architecture reduces latency by using multi-hop network. So this fourth for fourth question, this first statement is incorrect. And for second statement, it potentially lowers battery consumption by using short range radio. So it is correct. So finally, the answer is option B, right? Option B. Statement 2 is correct, but statement 1 is incorrect. So mark option B. Now let's move on to the fifth question. Fifth one, which of the following is or are features of mobile cloud computing? So for fifth question, there are two probable solutions. The first one is option A, uses less mobile 
device resources because applications are cloud supported so option a and the other one is option c guys mobile devices connect to services delivered through an api architecture so the answers are option a and option c so mark option a and option c now let's move on to the sixth question so before moving into the sixth question i want to make a small announcement so we have prepared the exam preparation nptel mcqs for the cloud computing course so with nearly five years of nptel experience we have gathered both the previous year questions and also prepared ha our own hands-on questions so 100 percent nptel syllabus oriented no outside syllabus so purely 100 percent nptel syllabus So there are two packs available. So the first one is savings pack and the other one is super savings pack. With the name itself, you can tell that here you can get huge number of 300 massive MCQs and for just 500 rupees only. And up to three members, I mean up to five members can ac access this for same 500 rupees, no extra charge needed. So if you purchase for 500 amount, up to five members can access this 300 MCQs each. So you'll get a PDF Google Drive access link. So it will be valid till the exam day, guys. It will be valid till the exam day. So not one month or two months. So if, uh, when will be the exam date? So till then, you'll get the uh, access. And the topic coverage. When coming to the topic coverage, the topic coverage is very high. So most of uh, more to more number of topics are covered and search option is also available to search any question you want and it is also easy to revise and coming to the savings pack so there are 150 mcqs the price is 300 rupees up to three members can get access so the top topic coverage is medium and search option is also available uh, if you ask me well which pack is better so i suggest in my opinion 300 pack is better because you are getting a huge number of 300 MCQs. Here you have to see whether how many MCQs you are getting, right? So you are getting 300 MCQs. 300 MCQs means more number of MCQs. So better practice and also chance for getting better grade also. So my preference is 300 MCQs pack. Already many students have taken that case. So join as one of them and get benefited. So this is the mail you have to mail me. If you want to purchase any of this pack, mail me to this email ID. Guys, only message me if you want to purchase. So for other information, you can ask me in the com YouTube comment section itself. No need to message me. Only if you want to purchase, then only mail me because we are dealing with many students. So we have to answer for each and every one of them and help them in the pro uh, purchase pro process. So please mail me only if you are willing to purchase this guys and there is another pack also available but this is not pdf pack so it is youtube membership guys it is youtube membership only for one person that to for each person it will be 119 rupees 119 and available in video format only it's a youtube video you cannot download that non downloadable non downloadable video and it is only for one month only so if you want to access this youtube membership just go to our channel page. So this is our channel page, S Kumar Edu. So here you can see the members only videos, right? So you cannot access this without membership. So if you want membership, so click on this join button. Beside this subscribe button, there is join button, right? So click on that. So there is third pack, 119 per month, live stream members only pack. So select that and click on join button and make payment that's it you'll become a member of our channel and you can get access to all these videos so there is nptl exam preparation videos playlist in the playlist option so click tab so click on that so there are a lot of videos available so cloud computing part one here available and part two is also available so here is part two video cloud computing and all these videos you can get for the same 119 rupees guys many subjects we have prepared that so 
119 is not for one subject you can get all the subject for the same 119 rupees only so that is the process to get that so hope you understand that so now let's get back to the solutions so sixth question which of the following statements is or are false about fog computing so for sixth question the correct answer is actually there are there are two correct answers the first one is option c fog nodes response time is much higher than clouds and the other one is option d network routers wi-fi gateways will not be capable of running applications so these two are the false statements about cloud computing they are also asked the same right so mark option c and option d now let's move on to the seventh question seventh one which of the following options is correct about geographic information so statement one geographic uh, information could be static or dynamic it is correct statement only and second statement number two geographic information varies in scale it is also correct and the third one the population of is uh, the pop, uh, population of a city or town is a static geographic information it is false guys it is actually dynamic but they have given actually it is <coughs> dynamic right but they have given static so it is false so the answers are the answer is option a statement one and two are true but statement three is false right now let's move on to the eighth question eighth one benefits of fog computing is or all so for eighth question there are two probable solutions the first one is option b low latency and location aware and the other one is option d widespread geographical distribution these two are the benefits guys so mark option b and option d now let's move on to the ninth question of this assignment So ninth one, distance between the client and server in cloud computing is of dash and fog computing is dash. So for ninth question, the correct answer is option C guys, multi hop and one hop. So distance between the client and server in cloud computing is <coughs> multiple hop and fog computing is one hop, right? So mark option C. And moving on to the final question of the assignment, that is 10th one. So 10th question. So match the following tables related to mobile cloud computing key components. So before getting into this question, I want to once again make you remember guys. So we have prepared the exam preparation MCQs. So you'll get huge number of 300 MCQs for just 500 only till the exam day and the 500 uh, for this single 500 purchase you will get access for up to five members so mail me to this email id guys already many students have taken our packs and got benefited also so think about that now let's get back to the last question so for 10th question and the final question of the assignment the correct answer is option a guys that means profiler is for this the matches for second one solver for the third one and synchronizer for first one two three and one so first option is the correct option so mark option one guys so friends these are the solutions for week seven assignment of cloud computing course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and definitely share that with your friends guys don't leave the video without liking the video definitely like the videos so if you got benefited through our channel so please keep supporting us forever guys so that's it for this video so until the next video 
गुड बाय थैंक यू